Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Susie. Uh, if you haven't been here before, welcome. I hope you uh, enjoy my videos. So today I'm going to be showing you my Kira Kira crate box. Um, I believe this is their March box. I'm not sure because they didn't put a paper inside of it this time which also has info about all the products which are all pretty much in Japanese so kind of had to use a translator here but they all look really cute and I'm really excited to show you um, what they are, how they feel and uh, what they smell like and everything. So here is one of the products. I believe it's a soap. If anybody can read this or translate it or knows what it might be, that would be awesome. But as far as I know, it's a soap. Uh, I think it's a floral scented soap. And I'm not sure if it's for my hands or for my face or maybe just like a body soap. So yeah, but it looks really cute. Can't wait to try it out. And then here we have um, a Q10 um, hydrolonic acid so it's kind of like a toner almost and uh, you use like a cotton swab and uh, then just rub it on your face it's supposed to keep moisture in and everything uh, so yeah that should be good to use especially since I have dry skin we also have um, this really cute uh, Shiba Inu like bath salt and powder I think it's supposed to smell like apricot. I'll open it up and smell it and let you guys know how it is. Here we have a moisture hand jelly and it looks like it's pear scented. So I think it's pretty much just like a hand cream. And then we have another hand cream here too. It is a uh, rose scented. It'll smell really good. Really like rose scented things. We have a lip gloss. I don't know if this one has a scent, so we'll see how that is. I really like lip gloss. And then I have two familiar products here. One of them I think you've seen in one of my previous uh, videos for Kitty Kitty Crate. But uh, it's a cheek roller, so I guess now I have two of these. And then lastly, we have this uh, lip mask from Choosy. I've actually used this before, so I already know I like this product a lot. Um, it has multiple uses, as you can see. <laughs> so let's try out all these products. Can't wait to show you. Okay, so we'll start with using the dog-looking soap. Okay, so... Oh, alright. Well, it doesn't really look like the picture at all. I mean, just compared to that. Doesn't really have that color. But, oh, okay. So, inside it looks like there's stickers. So you can put stickers on the dog. So it's kind of interesting. So I guess this is kind of like an art project now. You're supposed to use the soap if you put stickers on it. Makes me not want to use it because it's so cute. This is my dog, and then this is what the dog's supposed to look like. I guess it looks good enough. Mine's really cute. I like it. Now, time to actually use it. it smells good.
It just kind of like a soapy floral scent. I think this dog soap thing is mostly for decoration. I, I wouldn't use it really. Just maybe like put it in the bathroom in the corner or something. But uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Nothing special. Okay, so next I'm going to be using the bath salt and powder. Well, really just smelling it. It's adorable, by the way. So let's see. Let's open it up. Ooh, that is very strong, but it's very nice. Ooh, it, you can definitely smell the apricot color. <laughs> Not apricot color. You can definitely smell the apricot uh, flavor, and um, it smells almost sweet, like sugary. Makes me want to eat an apricot right now, actually. <laughs> but yeah, this this has a really good, strong scent. Can't wait to use this. And I'll let you guys know in the description when I do use it. So next is the Q10 Hydrolonic Acid. Haven't really used this before. So you're supposed to use like a cotton swab or um, cotton pad to wipe your face with this to give you more moisture and uh, lock that in. So I try to translate as much as I could with this. If anyone knows how to read this, or what it says exactly um, please let me know in the comments down below but I, I'm going to assume that you shake this so let's do that just a couple drops I've heard from other brands so let's see let's see how it works it's very light oh <laughs> Feels more like a toner, if anything. It's not really sticky like I've heard from other people. Use maybe a little bit more. Maybe you don't need just a couple drops. Let's try it out. It does make my skin feel really smooth and moisturized though. But since I have really dry skin, I'm going to use my my body cream that I use like every day after this also it doesn't really smell like anything so if you don't like like scented body products or face products I guess this would work for you it definitely does make my skin feel um, softer and if you guys are curious about what cream I use I think this was in one of my videos uh, I think my Tony Moly video um, I use this brand as my face and body cream. I'm just gonna put a little bit there just because my skin gets so dry. Alright, so next I'm going to use the Choosy Lip Mask. It is peach uh, scented and it has vitamin E collagen and also hydrolonic acid so let's open this up make sure that you wash your mouth and your lips before you put this on by the way and you're going to leave it on I would say probably like 15 minutes 15 20 minutes just to be safe it's kind of like a jelly feeling that's interesting. It does make my lips feel a lot softer. Um, I think the collagen and the vitamin E really do that. And I think the hydrolonic acid really helps it stay in. I would say that's one of my favorite products to use as well as some of the Pure Smile uh, face masks as well. So you can use maybe both of those at the same time. And now that we've used the lip mask, we can use this product that they gave us which is the lip gloss. So I used this, um, 
this like lip coloring from last my last video with Cuta Cuta Crate. So we can use that just for coloring and then use uh, the lip gloss after. So this brand is Puku Puku, I think. Puku Puku Lip or it's Dodo, I have no idea. Alright, let's see. Smell like anything? doesn't really have a smell or anything, I guess it's just lip gloss, but otherwise it's nice, I guess. Nothing special again, but um, I guess if you have your own uh, lipstick or lip coloring and you just want the gloss effect, then I guess this is uh, good for you. Okay, next I'll be using the cheek roller again that I've used before. You can just kind of go like this. I think it's kind of to help you relax and just massage your face. If you guys have this, let me know if you like it and what you think about it. Alright, so I'm very curious about this hand jelly thing. Um, it looks like it probably smells good. Alright, I'm just gonna my teeth. All right, that works. Let's see how it is. Honestly, it doesn't really smell like pear. I'm kind of disappointed. It smells like it wants to be a fruit, but it's not, so... And it's kind of sad because it's from Pure Smile, which I really like their stuff usually. I mean, I guess that it does make my hands smooth, so it does its job. It just... I wish it just smelled a little bit more fruity, is all. Lastly, we have the Rose Cream. So, let's try that out. Let's see how that smells. Hopefully a little bit better than the pear. What brand is this? I have no idea. Oh, here we go again. I gotta open this part. Okay, got it. This was easier. Let's see. Really getting my hands moisturized today. It's just good. Oh my gosh, just went on my nose. Oh, this is nice. Maybe using the jelly first and then this, I think, yeah, it definitely would be good. Now this, I can definitely smell the rose a lot more. It almost smells like like a rose cake or something. Yeah, I really like this. It's probably the cutest and it was very creative. I've never um, used something like this where you kind of like use stickers to kind of decorate it. The only thing is it's not really functional except that it's just soap for your hands really or maybe body soap. Um, I would say my favorite thing in this box would probably be the lip, the lip mask. I've used it before and I think it made my lips feel smoother. I also really like the smell of this bath powder. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, I just think it's very fragrant. It says it's apricot and definitely smells like you just took a bite out of one. I would say one of the things that I've never tried before in this box that I would be using more frequently now is probably this Q10 Hydrolonic Acid. I felt like it really worked and did feel like my skin is softer and uh, the moisture stayed in, which is really hard for my skin since it's so dry. But I definitely liked it, so I'll probably be using this a lot more. Well guys, I hope you really enjoyed my video. I enjoyed um, using these products and showing you all how they work and uh, what they smell like and if they're any good or not. <laughs> uh, if you guys have any suggestions for 
any other products maybe I could use and try out. Maybe something that you've been wanting to try but you're not sure if it works or not. Um, I'd definitely be open to trying it out and seeing for myself. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below what other kind of content and videos you'd like to see. And let me know how you're doing during these hectic times. And I hope you guys are all doing well. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!